again i welcome you guys to the make it simple youtube channel in this video let's see about how to run the esp.net core application in linux system using docker here i will give you a short brief of esp.net core it is a cross platform high performance and open source framework for building a cloud based and internet connected and modern applications it is a cross platform successor to dotnet framework and it has the ability to develop and run on windows mac os and linux but everyone tends to run the application in windows only let us consider a scenario that our application will be installing in both windows and linux platform and when you want to test some packages that across all the platforms to make sure that particular package is working in our application at the time the following steps can be found very useful to test in linux environment let's see how to do it the prerequisites like we need a linux system if you don't have a linux system no need to worry about that with the help of the oracle virtual box we can create a new virtual machine with linux installed in it so docker with alpine linux distribution should be installed in windows system through oracle virtual box already i shared the steps for this in one of my videos for how to create and install in it if you do, didn't go through that video just go through it and come back to this video i have given the video link in the description section let's prepare our working environment for this demo so i'll be creating an application for the sp.net core like i'll be creating a web api and i am giving the name like fib8 demo1 and clicking over here and you need to enable the docker over here this will create a docker file for you in the solution now let's see what will happen so visual studio is creating as a project let's see like how it looks yeah visual studio has created the project here it will have everything like it has a one default controller one default controller and docker file in it now to make sure everything is working fine let's run it with the doc is express and make sure is everything is working normally its build is succeeded let's see like what is happening i hope it should launch an application with the port number the default endpoint the default endpoint is like weather forecast controller as a default endpoint let's see yeah yeah the default one is like get endpoint for this weather forecast and it's working fine okay let's stop this one and let's go over here in the solution explorer we have the docker file in it this is the default docker file from the esp.net code template it is pretty much close to what we actually want it uses two containers like one container is to build and publish and one container is to run the app so this is a default app now what you want to do is like we need to create a system the oracle virtual box i already created one and it is running and i launched that uh, system using the mobile xstorm and what you want to do is like you need to push this code to the oracle virtual box linux system through git or through any of the ftp mechanism what i did is like i just push my code to the git and i cloned it from here and now what i have to do is like this is my application so you can able to see it, see it here this is my application and inside my application i have the docker file and i am listing it over here and what i am doing is like i want to build my docker so docker image so what i am doing is like i am giving docker build dot where is my applications like i will be giving the file like it is in under the web application folder web application 1 slash its name is docker file and i want to tag it with some name so what i'm doing is like fib8 or demo fib8 fib8 with the tag latest and that's it so it will be trying to build the docker image let's see what will happen now so the docker image is built and successfully tagged over here now let's see my docker images with the name demo fib8 latest yeah it's there at the top demo fib8 latest now what i have to do is like i need to run my application for that docker run i want to run in detached mode and i want to publish it in some port for example i want to publish it in 8989 and with a port in the container like 80 and the repository name is like demo fib8 which is the latest tag latest that's it so it will run in detached mode and i can able to see by running container with the help of docker ps command and it's running now so i want to check my application running or not so what i have to do is like my oracle virtual box is opened with this port like 192.168.1.2 and also like i publish with the port 8989 here so let's see what will happen
and 192 dot it's with the port and 2 and 89 and it has a weather forecast endpoint let's see whether it is working or not yeah see here now it is published and it is exposing in the port 8989 and this is the endpoint weather forecast with the get endpoint so testing the ASP.NET core application in the Linux environment is made easy with the help of the docker if you have any doubt on this add it in the comment section i will be very ha happy to help you on this thank you guys have a good day